I hear another card. Where is it? I, wait. Uh, is it? Mm -hmm. Where? Is it back here? No, I can't even get back there. Is it in the trash? I think it's in the trash. Oh, right, there it is! I found it! Riona Minami, type A. How many of these do I have so far, actually? An album for telephone cards. For some strange reason, you can view cards picked up by both Kiryu and Majima. They don't even try to explain it. I love it. So, yeah, I only have the one type B card, it looks like. May the card be with you? Really? A Star Wars reference there? Which, by the way, they, that, from what they're showing off from that uh, Jedi Fallen Order game, it looks kind of cool. Like, I like the premise of, like, you're, like, a post-Order 66 Jedi on the run. That always seemed like some, like, good, uh, territory to, like, well, just really put any story on. Also, it's got Chris Avalone writing on it, and that makes me very, very happy. It, that, that's the guy in charge of freaking, like, Knights of the Republic 2, so, you know, it's some good writing. Also, well, he, he, was, he was in charge of Fault in Vegas, right? Well, I know he's a writer on it, at least, because like, he did the thing that he usually does where he makes a character that's basically him. Or at least what, that spouts all his opinions. Which some people get annoyed by, but yeah, I'm, I'm honestly ambivalent towards it, because, like, at least in KOTOR 2, he had, like, the decency to make the character that basically spouted all his views, like, the villain. Like, he even said, flat out said, like, Kreia is wrong, even though that's what all my views on Star Wars, which I thought was neat. Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up for our location shoot today, we're screwed. <laughs> well, we had that, hu that huge argument with the director the last shoot, remember? He's probably still butthurt. I gotta appreciate a game that the writers decided... You know, we'll, we'll just write the word butthurt in there. Yeah, the director is something else. Go we'll budge an inch. Who knows means busting heads with... God, my nose is freaking itchy today. I'm sorry if I sound nasally at some point. because I'm scratching the shit out of it. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch. He only means button heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with them either. Maybe it'll be a strike. Well, whatever the reason, if we try to shoot on location with our producer, the director is going to really boil over. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure. Someone who can stay calm and cool while taking all crap our director dishes out. We need, we need a guy with an aura of toughness. A guy who can command respect just by being room, uh, being in the room. A guy who can plant people in the concrete. These guys like that aren't exactly dime a dozen, huh? Uh. Yeah, you're right. Like a guy who can do all that is just gonna waltz down the street at us. Huh? huh? Boy, I, I enjoy waltzing down the street. That bold demeanor. The word of, of unassailable authority. Blah, blah, blah. That's our man! The poster child of a producer just walked into our screen on our lives! Eh? Eh? Wait, wait, our savior! I mean, you, sir! You with the cool aura and magnificent poise! Mm -hmm. That's how you, people usually address me, so I'm assuming you're talking to me. Yes, yes, I meant you. May I have a minute? We're a production crew for a TV show. What would a television crew want from me? Well, we're going to be shooting a short segment at the restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man, and we're des desperate. Will you help us? Daddy. What? How could someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business be useful to you? Yeah. No, no, no. With, with an aura that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Oh, I, I can't see. You're so bright. It's dazzling. This reeks of BS. No, honestly, we're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly sincere about this. We do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move some things and help with some simpler tasks, but... Helping out on a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets experience. Please! It has to be you. No one else can do this. They aren't kidding about being desperate. Should I help? 
Eh, oh, why not? Fine. I'll help out. If it's not gonna take too long. That's great. Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is Kawaguchi, our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. I'm the cameraman. Glad to meet you. Uh. Here you. Right, good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Well, the pr show's producer is supposed to be here, but someone came up at something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So we need you to stand in for him, cute son. Hold on now, breath. You may need to catch it. There we go. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that role pretty important? <laughs> no way. You might think that. Well, a producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's a total fluff job. Wonder if the per did someone one of the producers at Sega piss off someone at the writing team? Is that it? I have no idea what I'm doing though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? RKOs are never off topic, but yeah, that sounds like Florida. Is that the the sidekick, the Florida man, Florida boy? Oh man, there needs to be RKO's in Yakuza. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Not to worry. Once we totally get you in some clothes with a more executive style, you totally pass for producer. You mean producers have a look? Sure they do. Hi. Now let's get you looking like a big shot. My god. He's beautiful. Oi. Guys, the producers seriously dress like this. And I I have to say, unfortunately, I don't think this is this outfit is a costume you can unlock in a post game. Like, it's the worst thing ever that you're not allowed to use like just wear it whenever you want. <laughs> Absolutely! You're a picture perfect producer. Isn't that right, Kawaguchi san? Hey. Like, would Kiryu sell you life insurance, like, for himself? Like, imagine, I, w you try to mug me in the street, and I shove your head through a car door. The hospital bills, like, for that would be completely horrible. If you bought some insurance for me before mugging me, things would be turned out very well for you. Uh, okay. So what am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way, and we'll need you to. Do All we need to do is deal with him and keep up with his demands. He can be a uh, kind of a diva, and he says some weird stuff. But just try not to set him off, and you'll be fine. Oh, hey, Blaze, how you doing? Hmm, I'm having second thoughts here, but I'll see what I can do. He should be here, here. He should be here any minute now. Oh, the director's here. Here he comes. Kusan, you're up. Try to act natural. Act natural. Uh. Got it. Oof. Well, that can hopefully help you relax a bit. Ciao, lovelies. Good morning. Marjan. Good morning, baby. Uh, gluten, Morgan, to you, too. Don't ever change, Marcia. I'm counting on you today. Blink bang, cha ching, baby. Uh -huh. Oi. What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where's my Eid Chan? Uh, so sorry, Eid son called in sick this morning. Kiri son here will be standing in for him today. Uh -huh. Kiryu, never heard of him. He's the real deal, baby. Yes, of course. Kiri-san does a lot of work on on location overseas. This is the first domestic sh shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well, then. It says la vie. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on, on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight. Capiche? Uh, 
Jesus, this is our director. Pilin Kato-san. Kiryu, good to meet you. Uh, he's stiff as a stiff. You drag this guy out of the river, boys? Guess what they say is true. People in the television business do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I better play along so it doesn't get suspicious. Uh -huh. Their problem, Kiryu. If you can't, return a simple greeting. Your history in this bit. Your history in this biz, lad. Figures. Proper greeting is important in, in every walk of life, which I do. Observe etiquette. Discourage disrespect. Fuck that. Let's get goofy. Queen in Rome, I guess. Have to do this right. Hmm. Hey, hey uh, Poppy Chan. Let's get this show ruling so we can wrap before next my next meeting. Chop chop, yeah. Huh? Ah. Uh -huh. hmm. Look at Kiryu. He is so satisfied with what he just did. Yep. Nailed it. <laughs> I love it. Didn't expect it from you, Kiryu Chan, but I dig it. Today's gonna be bada bing bada big. I guess that went well. So, anyway, here's that babbling bit of window dressing. She's on deck for our dinner and dining report. Mm. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? Hey. Yes, uh, about that. Our reporter, Nagasawa-san, is running a little late. Hey. Eh? Then why the fuck are we here? Did your job lock down the talents? You did that, didn't you? Sorry. I, I forgot to get her in ske the schedule time. She's on her way right now. You company imbecile. Go over on time. Go over on time. Screw on to the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Mori, but the shit. The, this shit doesn't cut the mustard. How do you cut mustard? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's director. Why did change from that cheesy goofball a few seconds ago? That's got one short fuse. Oh, here she comes. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm late. No problem, old baby doll. We're, we're, we're patient as pie. Ooh la la, don't you look rapture today. Oh, kato san don't be silly. Okay, gang, let's get this party started. See, uh, see, vous blai. That's, that was probably wrong. I don't care. Fantastic go. To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Mon dieu! What the hell is this? There's the erasable. Oh, sorry. We'll get it. Sorry, Kyu-san. Can you grab the erasable from the table and bring it over? Erasable? Let's check what's on the table. To start? Sure. Hold on. There's some pretty random things on this table. Hmm, which one should I take? A race bowl must have something to do with this prop. With the props. So I know the correct, like, choices you need to make to get, like, the best, like, result out of this quest. But the options if you choose some of the, like, wrong ones are pretty goddamn funny. Oh, man. I'm conflicted. Uh, and you know what, screw it. Let's see if I got like a coin or something I can flip and that will decide if I go goofy or go correct. There's gonna be a moment I need to go right through my pants. <laughs> oh, and my headphones got unplugged. Just give me a moment. Momento. All right, so. Heads, we we take the food, um, and uh, tails, we do one of goofier options. Heads, okay, for this one, looks like we're doing the right answer, but don't worry, I'll flip it for all the other choices as well. Which is fine, because this this one's like one more street poor, one's like, like, at most it's like, the funny thing is more curious reasoning, like, if he picks the knife, it's like, hey, this is what you want if you want to erase someone, right? But, yeah, let's just take the food, which is the correct one. The erasable is this! Boy. 
Hey, I brought the erasable. Thanks, Kiri-san. Sit on the table, if you would. Got it. <laughs> Ooh, this looks tasty. Doesn't it? I want you to savor it now. Let it linger on, the, on your luscious lips. This shall be my tour de force. Thanks. I'm sorry for making you bring it over, Kiri-san. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh boy, Kiri-san. I'm so glad you figured out erasable is what our crew calls consumable props like food. So, welcome to the side quest where the game quizzes you on your on your knowledge of TV production, I guess. Because that's what happens in Yakuza. Uh. Yeah, I figured out food is erased when it's eaten. Brilliant. This shit's going smoothly, thanks to you. you Managed to be useful, somehow. Look at him, he's so proud. Look at this proud boy. No, I'm gonna let it linger on this because when I upload this to YouTube, I want I, I want at least one of you to have a shot of Kiryu's face like this. Like if and if not, I'll just go back and like screenshot his face and upload it customly. So just a, look at that smug boy. Wow, this looks delicious. It's so much, but it looks so tasty. I could eat it all in one sitting. Yep, this is a camera pan that's happening. Good. Shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, cute John, but we still have life that we we, we have still life that rates later. So would you be a doll and grocer it for me? Uh sure. Mm, grocer this the erasable? What could that mean? So leave only the produce, tilt the food at an angle, or fetch a grocery clerk. Let's flip that coin again, cause if if we get tails, I'm I'm getting that fucking grocery clerk. Oh, it's a tails. Hey, here's a grocer. Brilliant. Thank you, Kiyu Chan. Let's take a look. Oi. Wait, who pay tell is this man? Kaguchi san. He's a grocer. It took some persuading to get him to come to. The grocery store on such short notice. Get for me. Hi. <laughs> and just what are you proposing we do with you, Gucci son? Hmm? Uh? Huh? You're the one who told me to grocer it. When you grocer a prop, it means you tilt at an angle, like how a grocer display produces on a shelf. These are the films still like that way. How could you not know that? So that's what I meant. Sorry, Yaguchi san. I just made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> look at the way. Just look at the way he's. That's a judgmental stare. This is a man who knows his time has been wasted. I delayed the shoot. Damn. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It's delicious. Shoot's almost done. Sorry, Hugh-san. Can I get you to jeer these props? It's about time to strike the set. Daddy. What does jeer these pipes and strike the, strike the set mean? Taunt the dishes, remove the dishes, or punch the dishes. See, this was one's pretty difficult because, like, even if I do get tails again, I don't know if I want to taunt the dishes or punch them. I, I'm not even sure I want to leave it a chance because I want to do one of the silly ones so bad. You know what? Fuck it. We're, we're, do, we're, we're doing this wrong one wrong no matter what. The, the choice is between where we taunt or punch. So head is taunt, tails is punch. Whoa, whoa. Tails, we're punching these fucking plates. <laughs> I got this. Uh, thank you. All right, here goes. What? Oi. What the hell are you doing, imbecile? The camera's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? What? <laughs> 
about if this, but they keep it this on, like, they don't cut this, like, while they're editing the video. Like, what if you're watching this documentary on food? Then all of a sudden, <laughs> the producer comes out, and he's like, I got this, and he just fucking karate chops a plate onto the ground. <laughs> oh, I can need a moment. Like, honestly, I think I'm just improving the documentary. Like, like I wouldn't watch that. If this was just about some food, I wouldn't watch it. But someone goes fucking Josuke on, on a, on a, a freaking plate. I'm, I'm all, I'm down. Also, that's the second time I've, I've referenced Josuke this stream. And I still need to catch up on part five, damn it. Huh? Whoa, whoa, hear me, son. What are you doing? You said something about striking the set. So I figured I should try by smashing the dishes. <laughs> yeah, but you see how much mana I got? I, I, I will I will pay for that to remain in the documentary out of my own pocket. No! No! And our studio's lingo to jeer means to put away. When we strike a set, we, we don't mean it literally, you dumbass. What? You're blowing my mind. Sorry, baby doll. We need to get you to close and comment one more time thanks to this idiot. No, keep it! Places, everyone! Yeah. Well, yeah, I've, I've watched, like, the first, like, two or three... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm up to, like, the, I've watched up to, like, that first episode, like, the fat guy who transforms into shit. But I've, I've... You know what? Fuck it. Once I'm done with the stream, I'm watching some fucking JoJo. Screwed up the shoot. In their eyes, at least, I, in my mind, I improved it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Popsicles? I didn't see any popsicle on food. It's a metaphor to you. Oh. The shoot's over, I guess. I think it went well. Here, son, you saved us. Huh? Motherfucker just comes in, starts smashing plates. You saved us. You are our new Jesus. You know, show is illegal like a. <laughs> Clearly, this entire group is of similar intelligence. <laughs> no problem. I had fun with it. That was something else. It's rare to see producer can take charge on the case room like. I guess I did enough right that it, I, I got the success conditions, but they're saying like I got I did it perfectly. I I brought a fucking grocery man in and I started breaking and breaking shit. What is wrong with you people? Got a magnetic necklace. Ooh, nice. You have all the makings of a great producer, Q son. We'd love to have you back anytime. What? What's going on here, producer Ida? Did the shoot go down okay? Did, did the shoot go down okay without a real crew? The producer. Is that me? But I'm me. But if I'm over there, then how am I over here? What is going on? Uh? What the devil? <laughs> what the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? <laughs> huh. You need it on a teleprompter. We're here to beat some manners in you. This is for working us like slaves late until night. What a holly thing are. I guess I'm doing that voice again. We got some... We, we got into broadcasting because we love television. But thanks to you, we don't have time to go home and watch TV. Yeah, that's called having a job. I don't have one and even I know that. You dumb fuck. It's no way to live. What can I say? It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortified gentlemen. Hmm. Big talk as always, director. That's I. I, I don't know. Whatever. I'm, my voices are just going all over. Who made you some partner? You can treat the producer like this. I've had it with you. 
That's why we boycotted the shoot today. Ron strike. Boycotted? More like you let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourself professionals? Yep, all you want. This isn't the last time we'll ever see you. Seriously, did like some producer uh, in like the Ryu Gagatoku team just like get really lazy and so it pissed off when the like the director or something? So let's end this shit show on happy note for us. Shit. Oh my gosh. What will we do? I got this. You guys remember what I did to those plates? Imagine if that was people. Huh? Huh? Kiri-san. Hey. Hold it. Huh? Eh. Who the hell are you? Name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. Kiri-chan. I... Wait. You're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys. We'll do this faker first. Oh, Jesus. They got wood. A tiki. These guys should be no problem. And I won't grab this guy by the legs. Hang on. This will work right eventually. Damn it. No, fuck it, I'll, I'll pull this guy around. Oh. No, fuck it, I'm taking this guy's lumber. Good thing. Get up. Ah, oh, darn it. No heat move. Nah, he just had a big stick up his ass. But dumb tish. Did they pull this guy off a bodybuilding show? Forget this. Gear you, son. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Millie Q, John. Mm. Yeah, it's the least of the amateur like me can do. So, you were faking it after all, Q, John. You knew? <laughs> I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. Then, not, then you start bringing in groceries and smashing plates, and I was like... And then I wasn't so sure, because that's usually what the producers do. You are fish out water from hello. Mm. Yeah, couldn't fool pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kiyu-chan, you did the best you could with such passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. TV is not, is not a gentle mistress. A single minute, or even seconds of footage can take hundreds of hours of hard work. The struggle is, as we should say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill. But there's something even more important than those, and that, mon ami, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. I thought that was Undertale. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV to change their jobs, or even their way of life. I think TV's medium has the power to change people's lives for the better. Yeah, I'd argue like most forms of media. Like for me, like I tend to get a lot of insight like stuff from well, video games. Yeah, I'd be right about that. Uh... Most death. That's why we make programs with some passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are the dream weavers. It's our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite a director, you know that. <laughs> Pish boss, I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have in my work out in them, but I can never seem to get through them. Hmm. Yeah. Director Kato, what you just said, that moved me to my core. We have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. Hey. I want you to know our passion is art of film. So please, we want you to keep us on us like you do. You guys. Yeah. Sounds like you got through them, don't you think? They got your old-fashioned sense of passion. Kijun, thanks. Honestly, 
but you're a truly great producer. So you won't stop giving us hopes and dreams, right? Uh. I'll contrary, Mon Frere. We'll show you dreams you've yet to even have in your mind's eye. Okay, boys. Production meeting. Let's drill down and plan for some better shows. From the top. Eh? What? Just wrapped. Have mercy. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck does from the top mean? Are they gonna film from the roof? Are they gonna film film the roof itself? <laughs>